the OneNote class notebook is an invaluable tool. Basically, students are able to collaborate, they can create, they have an increase in their critical thinking, they enjoy doing or using OneNote as opposed to just regular worksheets. For the teacher, it is also invaluable because if you are dealing with children who lose their work all the time, they can't lose their OneNote notebook. They can't lose the work that they've already done at home and it just didn't get to you in the morning. Basically, they're able to work together. The teacher is able to see a progression of their work and grade them accordingly, help students along the way. Teachers are able to look at their OneNote notebook and basically create it the way they want to create the notebook for their own classes. It's not a difficult process to do. It's very easy to use. And I think that everyone out there should be using the OneNote notebook. It is readily available through DCPS. And we need to be able to use this as a tool that will help us. Now I'm going to walk you through creating your own OneNote class notebook. You can open any of the Office 365 suite. So you would go to the little boxes on the upper left-hand corner. You see all of the apps that open up. And then one of them will say Class Notebook. Click on the Class Notebook. So go to Create a Class Notebook. Click on it. The first thing it'll ask you is to name the notebook. So I'm going to name this one Example 1. Then you just click Next. You'll get an overview of what the notebook will look like. So as you see, it'll create automatically a collaboration space, a content library for you, and the student notebooks. You will click Next from here. Now it's going to give you the option of adding a teacher that can also collaborate with you. We now have come to adding students to your notebook. It says student names, however, I advise you that it's easier to just add the student's um, ID numbers with a preceding S. So type in S and the ID number, and as you're typing, you see that you have choices that come up. Just choose the student that you would like to add. Then we get to where you have to design the spaces for your students. It's like handout, class notes, homework, and quizzes. If you want to be able to use them, then don't unclick them. But if you don't want to use them, go ahead and unclick whatever you don't want to use. However, if you would like to add your own sections, right here where there is the plus and it says add more, click there, and a new section will come up for you. Now you've clicked next and you've come to a preview, and it's showing you what the notebook is going to look like for your students. Once you've looked at that and you agree that that's the way you want it to look, then go ahead and click create. Okay, now that OneNote has opened up, this is an example of a notebook with the different sections. As you can see, there's a welcome section which basically instructs the students as well as you, giving you training material so that you're able to look at OneNote and create your notebooks. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and delete that section. I have several different sections here for my class because I teach science and as a result I have handouts and lab notes and different other things that I would do that I don't do in for instance my math class. Go to the collaboration space. This space is the, the part where students are able to collaborate with each other. They can change the material here. They can draw, copy, paste, anything that they would like to do within this space they may do. However, if you notice, I'm going to open this up so you can see, you have all of this down here. These are the different students that are in the class notebook. And if I go to their class notebook, as the teacher, I will be able to write on it to write notes. I cannot erase what they've created. I cannot delete what they've created unless I delete them as a student. OK, I can click on this student, and I'm able to go to the student's homework or quizzes their bell work, obviously, and uh, class notes that they have entered into their OneNote. For instance, here we have class notes on weathering and erosion and deposition. Okay, and as you see, these are not just regular notes that students have to have input into their notes, and so they will go ahead and, um, in these spaces, put in the uh, answers to those particular spots. Once the students have begun uh, their work and they proceed and collaborate with other students, 
they get to the point where they've completed, I'm able to go into their section. Uh, I could go to Jennifer Castillo and I could go to her, any one of her sections and grade what she's doing. So for instance, she, we are currently in the bell work and we for, this is way back 126.16. And as you can see that she has not completed uh, the work. So I can then go ahead and grade her accordingly. Yeah.